Hi everyone, I'm Rincy and I am one of the contributing editors over at Book Riot. When you're someone who is constantly creating things, whether it be part of your profession or as a hobby or just something you like to do for fun or for your friends or family members, it can sometimes be really hard to get inspiration if you're feeling some sort of block or you're just not really sure what you should be doing next. You can be really desperate to find sources of inspiration. So I'm here to recommend to you guys five books that have inspired my own creativity and will hopefully help you guys out as well. The first one that I'm going to talk about is Big Magic by Elizabeth Gilbert. She's probably best known for her memoir Eat, Pray, Love, which was obviously a huge bestseller. Whatever your feelings are about Elizabeth Gilbert and her work, she is obviously a very successful writer and she actually has a lot of really great and inspiring things to say about creativity and creating things. If you haven't watched her TED Talks, I highly recommend doing that. I believe she has two, but her TED Talks are things that I have watched multiple times just to help motivate myself and to give myself the courage to keep creating things. And so her new book, Big Magic, is kind of along the same lines as her TED Talk. The subtitle to this is Creative Living Beyond Fear. So a lot of the things that she talks about in this book is how a lot of people hold themselves back from creating things, whether it be you are just worried that your work isn't good enough or you get discouraged very easily when you can't seem to find the inspiration. She talks a lot about the very realistic nature that is creativity, the fact that it doesn't always go the way that you want it to and yet you have to keep like pushing through that and not to be afraid to share those things with other people. This doesn't just apply to people who do creative things as a career. It's also for people who might just do this as a side hobby or, or do this as a thing to just bring pleasure to themselves. Like that all falls under the same umbrella. I will say that this book does get a little bit hippy dippy in parts of it and so it can be a little bit cringeworthy sometimes but I think the general ideas and messages that are talked about in here are actually really really good and this is one that I will definitely be referring back to quite often. The next one that I have is Steal Like an Artist by Austin Kleon. He also has another book called Show Your Work and they actually work really well together. I recommend reading both of them. This is a really small, tiny little book and Austin Kleon is a writer and an artist. And in this he has 10 steps to unlock your creativity. I think that this along with Big Magic actually complement each other very well because they talk about similar things, they just present the ideas in different ways. This book is also filled with a lot of like really great graphics and art. And photographs and things like that and I think that this is a very straightforward way and a very step-by-step -step way of creating your own inspiration and sort of getting out of your own funk and sometimes even getting out of your own head and just creating things and seeing what comes out of that. The next book is Bird by Bird by Anne Lamont. This is one of my favorite books on writing. I reread sections of this constantly and I think it's really really fantastic but even if you're someone who isn't necessarily a writer I think that Anne Lamont does a really good job of just talking honestly again about the process of creating things and how sometimes you just need to take things step by step. Don't overwhelm yourself with the final product. Plus Anne Lamont is just a fantastic writer. I love her writing so much. And the last two books that I have for you guys are actually celebrity memoirs but they are both by people who are very successful and very creative. The first one is Yes Please by Amy Poehler and when I talk about this book I it is obviously a celebrity memoir but I also feel like it's kind of like a self-help book too. Amy Poehler is so positive and so good at, I think, inspiring other people to be positive and creative. She talks very openly and honestly about her career and just her growing up and things like that and her own ways of overcoming her own self-doubt or coming up with the courage to take chances and just the idea of saying yes please to every opportunity that comes your way no matter how freaked out you are about those opportunities. The other one is Shonda Rhimes' new book, Year of Yes, which obviously sounds like it could be a self-help book, but Shonda Rhimes talks about her own story becoming one of the most powerful people in television currently, which in and of itself is an inspiration. I feel like reading stories or biographies about people who are just these massive successes can be really inspirational in and of themselves, but she also talks about this idea of saying yes, but how saying yes sometimes also means saying no to things like the example that's always given is, yes, I want to be thin, so no, I don't need to eat an entire pie. Shonda Rhimes is also someone who's had a lot of ups and downs in her career. If you look back on her own work, you can see that it wasn't always easy for her, and until Grey's Anatomy became a hit, it 
was a struggle for her but she still like persevered and pushed through all of that which I think is just a great inspiration so yeah those are all of the recommendations that I have for you guys this week if you've read any of these books or you guys have your own recommendations on books that help inspire your own creativity definitely leave comments down below I'd love to hear about more of these types of books because I'm constantly on the lookout for them I love reading them so yeah that's all I have for this week and I will see you guys next week bye